वेलकम टू एन वी कॉमर्स अकेडमी लास्ट टॉपिक जो हमने स्टार्ट किया था दैट वॉज मेजरमेंट ऑफ प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड आज हम करेंगे उसका थर्ड मेथड दैट इज पॉइंट मेथड इन दिस मेथड प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट ऑन अ गिवन डिमांड कर्व इज मेजर accordingly price elasticity at every point of a given demand curve is measured separately suppose this is our demand curve say a and m at point p if we have to calculate price elasticity of demand so according to point method elasticity of demand is equal to lower portion of demand curve divided by upper portion of demand curve so here elasticity would be pm divided by pa so point elasticity refers to price elasticity of demand at any point on a given demand curve now we come to derivation of the formula for derivation we will draw a demand curve at a given point on a demand curve we will calculate a price elasticity of demand on x y plane x axis quantity and on y axis price is shown so this is a demand curve in m and n at point a we have to calculate price elasticity of demand for this we will draw say p and q and this is a change p1 and q1 so according to this diagram we have to calculate price elasticity of demand at point a if i use the formula lower portion of demand curve divided by upper portion of demand curve then the answer would be an divided by am but how we can derive this for this we will use our formula derived from percentage method that is p upon q multiplied by delta q divided by delta p so here is initial price initial price according to diagram is p that is op so price ko hum yahan pe likh sakte hain op same as quantity quantity would be oq next comes delta q yani ki change in quantity quantity oq se oq1 ho gayi so jo change hua that was qq1 and delta p that would again p p1 if we look at diagram op op is equivalent to a q same as oq is equivalent to a p and q q1 it is as same as if we name it as b c it would be सेम एज बी सी सो क्यू क्यू वन के स्पेस पे हम बी सी लिख सकते हैं एंड सेम पी पी वन इट वुड बी इक्वल टू ए बी अब अगर हम इन वैल्यूज को पुट करते हैं इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड के फॉर्मूला में सो प्राइस ओ पी के स्पेस पे ए क्यू एट क्वान्टिटी ए पी बी सी एंड ए बी that would be equation number 1 so by equation number 1 elasticity of demand is aq upon ap and bc upon ab and if we look at triangle abc triangle abc and triangle aqn both are similar triangles and if they are similar triangles ratio of their sides would be same so if bc upon ab is possible then qn upon aq 
another set of sides of the triangle that would be same. So this would be our equation number two. अगर हम BC upon AB की इस value को substitute करते हैं अपने equation number one में, by substituting we will get ED is equal to AQ upon AP into QN upon AQ. So that would be QN upon AP. And if QN and AP, this is involving two triangles, MPA and triangle AQN, triangle MPA and triangle AQN. Again, these are similar triangles because one set of their sides are in a ratio. QN upon AP. Same as the other set of sides would be same in ratio. So QN upon AP is possible. Then again AN upon AM is possible. Which was our requirement. So elasticity of demand is lower segment of demand curve. Divided by upper segment of demand curve. Now. Price elasticity of demand at different points of demand curve. So, on XY plane, here is a demand curve that is MN. If we have to calculate elasticity of demand at point P. So, here elasticity of demand would be 1. That is unity. The reason there being PN and PM. Lower segment and upper segment both are equal. So elasticity of demand will be unity. If we move forward and suppose there is a point A on demand curve. So at point A elasticity of demand would be greater than 1 or greater than unity. Reason there being lower segment AN is bigger than upper segment AM. So elasticity of demand would be greater than 1. On lower side, if we take, there is a point B. At point B, elasticity of demand would be less than 1. Because lower segment is lower than the upper segment. So, elasticity of demand will be less than unity. And if we move forward on axis. So, if we measure elasticity of demand at point M, the elasticity of demand will be infinity and at point n elasticity of demand would be zero. Reason there being elasticity of demand becomes greater than unity if we move forward on the demand curve but near to y axis it would be infinity and on lower side it would be zero. If we have to calculate point elasticity of demand but demand curve is non-linear. So, in case of non-linear demand curve, how to calculate point elasticity of demand? If our demand curve is curvy linear, it would be like this. So, if DD is demand curve and we have to calculate elasticity at a given point, then we have to draw a tangent to such point. It will turn this into a linear demand curve, say M and N. And at this point, we can measure elasticity of demand by using same formula that is lower segment of demand curve divided by upper segment of demand curve. So, if we have to calculate price elasticity of demand at any given point on the curvy linear demand curve, we have to draw a tangent to touch this point. Consequently, this point will divide the tangent into two parts. And lower segment when divided by upper segment, that will definitely indicate price elasticity of demand.